keltische Musik von A bis Z. Schottenradio gehört zu mir. Hi, I'm Duncan from Celtica Pipes Rock and you're watching Shotten TV. <laughs> Hi there, all you lassies and laddies around the planet. Welcome to Shotten TV. Today, with our Celtica Pipes Rock Special. And I'm not alone, because the guys from Celtica Pipes Rock are my guests. So, how are you doing, guys? Good, yeah, thank you. Great. <laughs> it's really great to have your company for this special. And uh, I'm pretty much sure your fans can't wait to see you live on stage where you brought a few uh, videos with you. And well, let's talk about the band history. Uh, when did you found the band and why did you found the band? <laughs> um, it, it started in 2009. I was um, looking for backpipers mainly in Scotland and in Northern America. Yeah. And um, the first pipers actually came from California. One Scottish guy who lives in California, Los Angeles, and um, a Californian bagpiper. She married in the meantime my eldest friend in Austria and lives now in Austria. <laughs> okay. And we had the first m meeting in December 2009 in Phoenix as our bass player, yeah. who is Austrian, lives in Phoenix, Arizona. And we recorded some videos there, we rehearsed there, and in 2010, we started touring. So yeah. the, the end of 2009, beginning of 2010 is the birth time of Celtica. Celtica yeah. Pipes Raw. And why I did it, good question. No, because I like the music, of course. Yeah. And uh, I had a similar project before that, but it was not that professional. It was also with my ex-girlfriend. And you can imagine, first the relationship split and then also the band. But I thought, ah, it's great music. I want to do something like that. and there must be pipers who do the same and are able to play rock style and I'm glad I found them and now Duncan and Jane are our perfect piper couple. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not a couple, but yeah. Pi piper couple. I'd like to clarify that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no and, and you're from Scotland, yes? Yes, yes so most definitely. Uh, what does it mean to you <coughs> to be a piper in a, in a Celtic rock band? Well. I think it's great that I can be part of something that uh, promotes Scottish culture um, in countries outside Scotland because we've toured all over Central Europe, all over North America, Aye. Canada um, and well I've noticed that there is a, a huge Scottish contingent everywhere we've gone but to, to be able to be part of that is, is really yeah. great. What could be sexy as a female piper? <laughs> so <laughs> look at my studio. I, I feel a wee bit like in heaven, you know. <laughs> so what does it mean to you to be a, a, a piper? Why do you play the pipes actually? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a passion it's, thing. Yeah, or it's a passion, definitely. Yeah. And it's something I've worked for all my life. And it's like a dream come true to do this as a job, you know. Yeah. To do something that you once had a hobby, now you're doing it for a living. It's yeah. pretty special. <laughs> and you see the whole planet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's hard work. It's, it's <laughs> not all fun and games, you know what I mean? It's hard work. And, but we all, we all work hard to get where we are. Of course, but yeah. But it's good fun. And it's great people I'm working with. So. And what do you, especially as a Scotsman, what do you try to transfer to, <coughs> the, to the crowd while you're on stage? 
Well, the main thing we try to transfer is energy. You know, we yeah. we have fun playing, and we want everyone that we play to 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 enjoy themselves. So, I think definitely you can say energy is a big part of our show. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, just uh, giving people an opportunity to hear bagpipes in a different setting. Yeah. In the rock, the rock band style, you know. But when it says energy is the perfect word, and uh, I think that's why also the flames that we have on stage work so well with the music. Yeah. You know, we have flamethrowers on the pipes, on, on bass, on guitar, and that really adds a special edge to the music. Um, and it symbolizes or makes it visual the, the power, the energy we have. And it's really, you know, a touring is hard and you don't get so much sleep and you drive a lot and, and you have to stay up uh, long oh. and have to get up early. But as soon we are on stage and we play that music, it's stronger than coffee. <laughs> really, <laughs> the it, it, you, back. you can't, you know, <laughs> even Absolutely. with headache or whatever, I can't yeah. help. We, we all, we have to move. You can't stand still. You can't play that music and fake it or, or just um, sit or something. And yeah. even people, you know, it was funny. It's uh, funny. It was interesting. There were you played at MPS, a uh, German festival, and it was open air outdoors. And there was a lady who had um, relied on clutches. Do you have clutch? Is this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crutches. yeah. yeah. And she was always between sitting and getting up, and sitting and getting up because she couldn't sit, <laughs> and, and she even wanted to get away. And she was trying to dance as as far as she could. You know, it, it's 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 the music. The music is power. Yeah, uh, even you are, you are not a Scotsman, you have really the, the sparkle in your eyes while you talk about the Scottish power. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't even say Celtic power because we had yes. Celtic culture in Austria, um, but it's, it's long ago. And we even had bagpipes in the medievals, but that's, that's different. But I think the music is international and that's why it works, as, as he said, from, um, from, from Croatia till south of Spain, from Netherlands till Italy, yeah. um, from Florida to Alaska, from New York to Hawaii, everywhere where we, where we go. After, let's say, a couple of minutes where they are not sure what it is about and, yeah. and then it makes click and then you always see happy faces in the end. If you are actually a new band, well, not totally new, but uh, still not an old rock and roll band, uh, you are very, very successful. Why do you think? What's the reason? I think it's a good blend of, 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 of the Scottish style, right. of the way of living, with modern rock music. And we are good musicians, I can say that. And we work together very well. And we enjoy it. Yeah. And that's the main thing. A lot of people say, well, I wasn't so much into bagpipes till I saw you. And they, they love the energy. They love that, um, the, yeah, the spirit. Energy is the right word. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty much sure you can't wait to see the guys live on stage. And uh, so we should watch this video. And after that, your life will be different, that's for sure. That's a promise from me to you, because you see the guys live on stage in the USA, and then you know what they what they mean when they talk about energy live on stage. So stay on Shotten TV and see you in a wee while. <laughs>
back at the studio of Shotten TV. So it's, uh, hey, what can I say? That video, that was really awesome, wasn't it? So, uh, well, live on stage in the USA. Tell us all the silly, uh, great stories. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely great. It, in, in the beginning, we were kind of scared, you know. It was the first time a different continent, another continent. And we started actually in, in Canada. So it was the first show we ever played in North America. And um, there was on, a, on a, a, f a floating stage on a river. It was a wonderful summer evening and it was some auditorium. But we couldn't see them because we were blinded by the lights. Yeah. And there was the river in between us and then there was the audience. And we finished the first song. It was pretty quiet. I thought, oh shit, this is the American tour. We, uh, we have to go home. But <laughs> th then they started clapping and after the next song they go went wild. And when we played in the end, Don't Stop Believing, they went crazy. And that was the idea of our bass player Harold who lives in America yeah. and played with several cover bands over there so he knows what they like. I thought maybe country roads. No, 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 that, that's old fashioned. But <laughs> don't stop believing, don't stop. What? And, and, and I knew the song. but And we played it in Austria to, to, to rehearse it. Yeah. But people didn't react at all. And there, I could see them at, at the beginning of the song. They were uh, like going crazy and thought, oh, we made a mistake. You know, how, how dare they to play this song? But no, they came and shook his hand. It, That's my religion. Ooh, you. And I thought, OK, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, also in, in, in Alaska, it was awesome. The, the people lined up after the show for one hour to get a CD. It was really crazy. And, and of course, also the driving there is crazy. We have <laughs> long distances yeah. Yeah. and uh, f four of us made the trip from the very east coast, from Newport to the very west coast to San Francisco. It's over four and a half thousand kilometers. Yeah. And they did it um, once in four days and once in 76 hours nonstop. That's rock and roll, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely. <laughs> it's more roll than rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, but what it was, or when we um, crossed the border for a Canadian festival, I had prepared all the, the lists with the instrument and everything went there and the officer came, okay, show me. And then he went to our trailer, opened this. And I opened it and it was completely full with boots and all kinds of, the okay, you can go, <laughs> you can go. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, it's cool. and and. They love the flamethrowers. You know, sometimes the fire marshal is very strict, but sometimes they're cool. In Texas, <coughs> for example, we played Texas, you know, you think Texas police guys, and, and they, they, they came when we played, or we shoot the, the flamethrowers first, and they came with blue light, alarm light, and thought, oh my God, they're gonna arrest us or something. But no, um, the, it was also the, the ambulance, and there was somebody was collapsing. I hope not of because of the flamethrowers. <laughs> and <laughs> but, but they, they looked like like the, the, the sheriff. Um, and after them, I saw them sitting behind the bar, you know, having a beer. And I asked them, so um, was the fire was okay? Said, yeah, that's just kid's toy. <laughs> 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 you want a beer? It's an issue. <laughs> Yeah, that's Texas. <laughs> yeah, that's Texas. <laughs> Dirty Texas. So we have we have two pipers uh, in the band, and and you with your guitar, of course. Yeah. And what's your passion in this band? <laughs> I play the violin. Yeah, you play the violin. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, what does it mean to play a violin in in a rock band? Well, it's. Uh, very exciting for me because actually I studied classical violin yeah. and uh, now I have to play rock <laughs> uh, with uh, uh, electric violin so uh, there there were so many new things to learn yeah and I really really enjoy it it yeah. was quite stressful in the beginning <laughs> but now she rocks why uh, yeah. tell us all why? the story <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes no, 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 no. <laughs> well <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. Okay. So, what is actually your favorite stuff on, um, on stage? Well, um, uh, for a violinist, uh, the Scottish music is uh, so not so difficult to play. So it's yeah. uh, it's um, more interesting for me is to make it a little bit rocky. Yeah. And I'm trying to find some new sounds or some. 
because of violin is not really typical rock music instrument. No, so no. This is very interesting. But it's very cool, and he really looks cool on live on stage. <laughs> this really, really, uh, he you. know what he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the idea actually was also we were not looking for an Irish fiddle player because in all the bands they have Irish, they are great. Yeah. But uh, it's a bit too traditional and, and, and a bit cliché. Then we are more in the folk direction. Uh, we were really looking for a classical violin player. Mm -hmm. And Vienna is a good place for that. And because, f especially for our next album, we want to push more the symphonic element. Okay. We already had parts in, in, in the previous CDs, but we want to make the sound wider and a bit more classical, so mm -hmm. mix the Scottish Backpipe tradition, the maybe American yeah. rock tradition, with the Austrian <coughs> classical background, yeah. and blend it all over, and hopefully this will create an even better sound than we have now. I think that sh should uh, work very well. Yeah, let's talk about your latest album. Very successful worldwide. Very successful on Schotten Radio as well, and it's it's a concept album, of course. Uh, well, l let's talk about this concept. Uh, I like to, to have a, a certain theme or a concept. It makes it easier to get the inspiration. It's also f um, as well for me when I compose songs or when we pick songs, um, but also for a listener. You know, we don't have lyrics. Mm -hmm. So um, if you only hear a pipe tune without having any information or inspiration in a certain mm -hmm. direction, then you might hear Scotland, see Scotland, but nothing else. Yeah. And so we ha want to have a theme. And the music, I think, reflects it somehow. I, and people tell me that they um, see a lot, they see a movie when they hear a CD. And it starts with the intro track, which um, shows the direction, but also the titles of the songs. And that gives you more um, inspiration for a movie than just listening to music. Mm. That's what a lot of people tell me. I'm yeah, glad. I couldn't agree. More, because <laughs> <laughs> it's really true. Do you have a, a favorite tune from from maybe from all albums? Um, well, I like a lot Visitors. I like a lot White Whale, yeah. Excalibur. But it's also fun to play covers. But yeah. that's that's different. It's always when you play your own stuff, original compositions, then you say, Ah, do they like it? And if they don't clap, you say, Ah, it's not good. If you play a cover song and the don't like it, and so yeah, it's the wrong audience. And so it's so personal and private if you play your own composition. Yeah. And and but th I think that makes it exciting. Yeah. We are not a cover band. We go away from the covers. It's fun to play them. People enjoy them. But I think it's a bit more um, outstanding. Or that makes the creativity if you can also write original stuff that people like. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's anyway a great mix. You, you you played Excalibur and and the Star Wars theme as well. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> Why <sure>. the Star Wars theme? <laughs> Why not? Why <laughs> yeah. not? Because <laughs> everybody knows this this yeah. melody, of course. Yeah, since so many many years. So uh, well, Excalibur that was uh, actually uh, a good tip. We should watch um, the video of Excalibur. Where did you produce that? Um. The, the festival, the live um, yeah. footage we filmed in Italy, huh? it's a huge Celtic festival, it was very impressive. We were not expecting that, we thought you know, the more south you come, it will be some festival of a town, of a village, oh, yeah. uh, not so, but it, it's massive. It was really one of the biggest stages I, we ever played. They had also yeah. these video walls at the side and two camera teams, um, but we wanted to not have only a, a live video, but to add footage. So. Um, I filmed this sword actually at my apartment, <laughs> and we filmed also at our rehearsal room. Or at the, it's a kind of studio yeah. um, where we did f some extra scenes, and then we edited it together. And a good artwork. <laughs> it's Thank a really you. cool video. We enjoyed playing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and so uh, we watch now here at Chutton TV, um, Celtica pipes rock, and this is Excalibur. <laughs> There is no sword mightier than Excalibur.
Welcome back to Shotten TV, and hopefully you still enjoy. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> hopefully. Well, that was a fantastic video, and uh, I'm pretty much sure all your fans want to know where can they buy your CDs, and do you have a website? Are you on Facebook? All this stuff, you know. So yeah, welcome. absolutely. Um, our website is uh, <coughs> Celticarocks.com. There you can find all the information you could ever want to know about Celtica, uh, all of our tour dates, um, any news, all of our videos. Um, and of course, CDs. CDs yeah. Very important. We have uh, three albums currently, and uh, we begin to work on the next one um, this summer. T-shirts. We have T-shirts. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So and on our web shop on, on the website, yes. but we're also on Facebook, of course. Yeah. If you like us, like us there as well. <laughs> Good, yeah. Give a, give a like, and and then anyway, we can read that all here. You know, just follow the link to the website, and then. Uh, but probably you should do it after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Best point. <point>. Yeah. <laughs> well, what can I say? Um, Celtica Pipes Rock, you are you are on the road around the planet and you met of course a lot of uh, cool guys, crazy guys and, and of course uh, there are a lot of fantastic stories around all these tours. So do you have a, a story uh, you maybe? <laughs> How much time do we have? Uh, well, <laughs> we have time enough. Yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. uh, if, if I think about a gig in the USA, I think that means a lot to you to, to play in the USA because, so, well, uh, how did you actually came to the USA? It have to do with your... With Harold, uh, basically. With Harold, yeah, uh, actually, yeah. it was the, the, the plan from the very beginning. Um, Harold was in Austria and played with this former project as a substitute. And we yeah. talked it over and he said, come on, that would be great in the US. It would work there. And said, you think so? Okay. And yeah. that's why we started looking not only in Scotland for bagpipes, but also in the US. Yeah. Because the plan was in summertime more in Europe, but spring and fall in the US. Mm -hmm. um, it took two years to do this, um, but then it worked out so well. It, it, it's really impressive. People love our music there as well. It's, it's, it's great that you come from Austria, as I do, or from Scotland, or from Europe mm -hmm. at all, and go there and the same reaction, no matter if it's in, in Manhattan, in New York, or in Alaska, or in Florida, or San Francisco. And it's cool to be in, the, in these towns, you know. I haven't been in the US before, and now I was in two and a half years, I think five times in New York City, yeah. um, four times in San Francisco, Grand Canyon, Monument Valley, two times Las Vegas. So it's, it's cool, and you go there because of your job. Yeah. And, and what was a funny experience was, for example, um, the venue that we played in, in Manhattan the first time was a small club, but they had different kind of music and they have two shows a, an evening. Mm -hmm. And they are completely different or they're not connected. It's not Celtic Evening or something. They have one band and then <coughs> the other band. And when we played there, there was a um, black um, R&B funk <laughs> band there. <laughs> And I, I think we were pretty <coughs> much the only white people there. So, you know, I came out of the backstage room dressed in my stage outfit, which means kilts, and went to the bar for a drink. And I listened to the band. I really enjoyed it. So I was kind of dancing. And I realized all the guys next to me are black and looking kind of funny at me. But after a while, they realized they simply enjoy the music and it was oh. OK. Uh, so I think we, even some of them, um, stayed a bit longer to, to see us play and they were there till the very end. So it was a cool experience. <laughs> and far away from the Celtic music scene, actually. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it was very far away. <laughs> a different planet. <laughs> so do you think uh, there's a difference between uh, probably the crowd in the USA and, and the audience in, in Europe or Germany or um, Austria? I, I wouldn't say so. I've, uh, I mean, there are some differences, but in the end, it, it takes maybe a little bit longer or whatever. In, I can't say if Europe is also different, you know, it, between Netherlands and southern yeah, yeah, Italy yeah. or Spain is a big difference. And in America is also, it, it's a huge, it's, it's a continent. And, and so there are differences, of course. But in the end, they all enjoy the music. It's, it's magic, it's a miracle, but you always see this shining faces, smiling, sweating, dancing, and yeah. yeah. We want to have it. And coming to buy our CDs. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, no, they always ask for a signature and, 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 and f take pictures. It's great. We have followers from all over the world, also countries we haven't played before, so from Brazil, from New Zealand, uh, Japan. It's, it's awesome. It's really international because we don't have lyrics. Yeah. So I think that's why it works everywhere. So uh, you are the songwriter in the band? Yes, one song was written by Harold, okay. and I hope there will be more to come, but most of the stuff I'm writing. And it's exciting for an Austrian guitar player to write bagpipe music, but it seemed to work. And I'm always glad when he not even plays it, but says, oh, it's okay. Not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> not too bad, yeah. yeah. We can play it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so why do you write uh, new tunes? Uh, do we have not enough Scottish tunes? The world is missing it. Okay. No. It's um, waiting for I'm you. <laughs> yeah, as maybe long yes. as I have ideas and as long um, as people like to hear them and as long as cool sounds come out and cool songs, why not? Until now it works well. Yes, so <laughs> maybe more. <coughs> yeah, we, we already work on, on the next album yeah. and then um, we hopefully released next spring. Um, what we want to change, as I mentioned before, in a more symphonic direction, yeah. less covers, um, uh, and yeah, it will be challenging. I hope we don't lose some followers, yeah. um, but at least lose not more than we gain. At yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, we have to talk about uh, one special song of you. Uh, about Cape Horn, because Cape Horn was very, very successful worldwide on shot and radio. And at first, we should watch this video and then we come back and uh, then we will talk about the McDoodle Music Award. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to Shotten TV. And yes, indeed, it's true. This is the McDoodle Music Award. And well, finally, you made it and you won the McDoodle Music Award. More than 250,000 voters uh, vote for this award. And well, it's time to give it away to you. Yes! Thank you for voting. Thank you. Well, <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for voting. It's, oh, it's great. We talk about 250,000 uh, votes and uh, more than four weeks on the top of the top 20 Celtic music uh, single charts. That, that is, of course, a huge success. And you had, we collected thousands of uh, emails. And actually, the whole planet wanted to hear your song. And we talk about Cape Horn. Yeah, why do you think Cape Horn was such successful? I just can say thank you. We are very impressed. It's really an honor to get this award. Um, I hope it really um, reflects our style. Or it's, it's a, a song that shows what our music is about. Yeah. And for what reason ever, I'm so happy that people liked it. Yes, and, and uh, what, what does it mean actually, the people, you, you, and you as well, and you, yes, you all, you love this song, and you sent us so many emails, and, and on Schotten Radio, uh, we, we broadcast this song again and again and again, and uh, well, I'm not surprised about that, the whole album was actually fantastic, not actually, it was fantastic, <laughs> and uh, uh, it needs uh, a wee while till we could made it, cause, cause we, we are all totally busy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I hope uh, you love it, cause it's a war from all your fans. They worked for you, and so, um, yeah, this is your camera. And um, it's really you, the fans, and fans that we don't know. It's not a fan club who organized this. It's not us who asked our families. Mm -hmm. I heard about it. But I was not aware that it, 
how far it went, and then I felt, oh, we are number one. Who did this? It was not us. Yeah. And then, of course, w I voted also a bit, but I yeah. don't have so much time. You know, we're traveling, we're not online all the time. And I asked the musicians, hey, there is this award, we should vote. And I asked them, ah, good that you remind me, I will vote also. Yeah. So it's really true votes. It's not um, that we were sitting all day clicking just to get this prize, yeah. and that it's really an honor, and, and uh, we are very happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so um, let's talk about again about the, the, the latest album. Uh, if you think about all your CDs, um, what do you think, uh, how, how did it went so far um, when you started the band and you started your, your first songs and you met all the guys and the girls and, and you started that all and where's the point now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you know, w w I'm busy every day and we all are busy every day, so we don't look back too much. Yeah. But as you mentioned it, when I think about the beginning, we played a lot of street shows and it was, for, for me, um, looking back, I see the difference, but I thought, wow, we're playing the same like years ago, but then real we found an old set list, for example, and it's completely different, so we have at least three or four hours of live music yeah. practiced and, and, and played in the meantime and, and also when we meet people again after years say wow your show is so different now and oh really is it mm -hmm. because it develops time uh, time after time people always ask us where do you rehearse for example and well first we rehearse very little together because we are in different parts of the world or we're touring and when we go to the US, then we rent a, a rehearsal studio, yeah. practice there maybe w once for two or three hours. If we have a bit more time in Austria, then we practice two or three days. But also just a few hours, we, we prepare the songs um, ahead of time. So we all have the recordings, we learn our part, and then we play together, and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so all the improvements or the changes happen on the road. And when we realize, oh, that was good, then we, we try to do this within the next show, so we think, ah, that's not perfect yet, and we change this. And so the, the whole show developed, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, your sound, the band sound, <coughs> it's, it's, it's a very special sound. How, how would you describe it, you know? Uh, uh, I mean, yes, of course, we talk about our bagpipes and, and, and uh, violin as well and distortion guitars and stuff. So it's mainly probably rock music, yes? But it's a, it's a very special sound. There are a lot of bands uh, out there, but you are very special. Why do you think of that? And, and Actually, I, I don't know because it's such an obvious thing, uh, thing to do. And uh, people say, ah, you're playing Celtic rock. And then I listen to other Celtic rock bands, but it's more folk with electric guitars or folk with drums. Mm -hmm. I think we are not in this category. We thought, uh, um, I don't know, maybe Scotch metal or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I don't, I, it's not that easy to blend bagpipes with rock instruments. The tuning is so different. That was a big issue that we managed to um, yeah. get the tuning done. And it's great that they are so well in tuning the instruments, but it's tricky. At the end of the show, we're always happy if we are there. Um, and I don't know, I think that's maybe why it's so hard for other bands to, mm. to copy this. Mm. I didn't know it in the beginning, and I uh, underestimated it, and it took a while to figure this out. But now it works, and I'm glad that we have done our homework, yeah. and, and, and now we are able to do this kind of easily, I mean, use. When, <laughs> when and how did you start to playing pipes? I, I started learning when I was 10. Yeah. Um, my local pipe band in Newton Grange um, played traditional tunes uh, at gala days, events and competitions. Mm. Um, I studied music through school and I, I went to university and studied bagpipes there. Um, and I played a lot more solo gigs at that point. Um, so I, although I had experience of playing with groups, I've, I've played with orchestras and black bra mm. brass bands, uh, Kaylee bands and that sort of thing. Moving to a more rock style, in terms of playing wasn't such a big leap, but stage performance is very different from traditional piping. Uh, yeah. I, I, don't, uh, I don't jump up and down when I'm playing a march to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's 
I played 15 years of um, traditional style bagpipes, and then the last four or five years, it's been a bit of a shift to to something else. But it's cool, of course, uh, to have a massive basic of all this traditional stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. technique is very important. Yeah, indeed, um, <laughs> especially you, with you have the to pipes. be able to play your instrument before you can perform at a high level. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it not goes true. without saying. <laughs> How was it with you? Uh, I was eight years old. Um, it was not yesterday. <laughs> and I started and just being in pipe bands and stuff. Yeah. And I was in a, another tribal band, uh, Show Patrol, before that, back in 2009. And then Celtica came along and Gaius is like, yeah, just do some head banging. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you to do what? And he's like, yeah, Duncan does it. And I'm like, but in, I'm like, this is not normal, this is really <laughs> weird, and I'll just spin round in this bit, <laughs> but a bagpipe, no. But then finally, yeah. you get, after a lot of practice and falling over and hurting myself, oh. <laughs> oh, so I got there. <laughs> so so uh, is that in Scotland a typical thing to learn the Great Highland pipes uh, as, as a female player? Not really. Yeah. Well, when I started, when I was when I was eight, it wasn't really normal. Uh, the pipe major didn't actually like females, so <laughs> I just <laughs> went along to wind them up, really. So, <laughs> and now I wind this one up. <laughs> and of course, and of, and of course, it have to be weird. Cause watch the guys, you know, it's it's a metal band, a crazy metal band, actually. Are you a metal band? Yes, I would say yes, a wee bit metal, yeah. Yeah. And his yeah. style, anyways. But yeah. Myself, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all this fire stuff live on stage. Did you ever burn yourself? Oh, well, <laughs> we <laughs> got good doctors. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> l w look, look. It wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was, uh, I don't know, your, your, ba your backpipes over. Yeah, yeah. The, the, oh. the, the, the flamethrower. Flame yeah. yeah. Because the. the, the the flame, was it the flame or the brass thing? It I was think. the brass yeah, thing, yeah. it was still hot. It had just gone off and I was putting the other um, fire stick in and forgot it was hot. And, oh, geez. Now you remember. I remember. Why you did the show on stage? I was just, I was still on stage, but just to the side, so. Okay. So I think I swore for the mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had to cope with that. People couldn't hear oh. you scream you. Yeah. As, a true, as a true Scottish lassie. This you is know. for my bagpiping, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and um, good. We should watch another video because uh, we have fantastic videos, and and so we should watch this one. And then, stay tuned. We are still here when you come back after this video here on Shot and TV with Celtica Pipes Raw.
back to Schotten TV. And this is, of course, our Celtica Pipes Rock special. Why do you wear a kilt? I simply like it. And I think yeah, it, it I know that feeling well. <laughs> yeah. um, especially on stage, it's usually pretty hot and the kilt is perfect. Oh Much yeah. better than leather trousers or something. It's really <coughs> cool. And it works so well with the music. I mean, in a reggae band, I wouldn't wear it. But well, yeah. with that kind of music, you know, it, it just fits. It, it's great to wear. And uh, we, we've got a kilt maker in Austria oh, okay. who really um, makes traditional kilts in perfect quality. And who is it? Um, Thomas Rettel, thanks for Hi, Thomas. doing all this stuff. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, but as you said, we, we blend with the rock music. So it has to symbolize also the music that we play. It's not just traditional, but of course, Scottish elements blended with a rock style. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just uh, tartan stuff, you know, it's really cool. And it's hot in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I have no clue why, to be honest. No idea. No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> so, so, what does it mean to you to, to wear traditional stuff uh, or the tartan stuff? And so? Well, I mean, it's for me, it's not a huge deal, you know, yeah. it's part of what I grew up with. Yeah. You know, I, my, my dad. Uh, has a Cayley band and he's been playing traditional music since way before I was born so I've been surrounded by Scottish culture and tradition. I, I can't even remember wearing my first kilt, I was so young. Yeah. So it's something that's completely natural um, and as Guy says it's very, very comfortable to, to wear it on is. stage. Yeah. And when did you start to, to wear your cut, your Mohican stuff, you know? That was when I joined, or just after I joined Celtica. I, I have quite curly hair actually, I used to have a bit of an afro. But um, the hairstyle didn't necessarily fit with the rest of the outfit. In, so a, in a reggae band it would be yeah, exactly yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Perfect, perfect, perfect. But uh, I decided it was time to, to change a little bit. I mean I've, I've played with military bands before so I've had various different haircuts through the years. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay. And and you, how did you, uh, came to your Mohican Um It developed. Uh, well, I, I didn't cut my hair since I started Celtica, my, my hair in the back. So in the beginning it was much shorter, ah. and now it's getting longer and longer, and don't know if I will cut it ever. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, but, it, but it's nice to have it like this, otherwise it would might look a bit old, rock school style. Yeah, yeah. We want to be a bit more up to date. And also it's it's... On stage, it's hot, so and you don't have them in, in their face all the time. Yeah, that's, that's the reason great, I always yeah. wear a bonnet, you know. You okay. Have yeah. <laughs> in your face, yeah. I like your your style as well. So uh, tell me, we would come closer, yeah, come closer, and uh, tell me, <laughs> we would, what does it mean to you to be in this band? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is the answer I expected, actually. <laughs> um, what? How? How did you came to the band and? Uh, Wow. What's your job actually? Wow. <laughs> What's your job? I don't actually think he's in the band. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever see him on stage? I don't know. Well, What's your name again? Uh, um, yeah. Well, we are kidding, I'm of I'm course. The invisible drama behind, oh, behind yeah. stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible drama. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're yeah. the guy for the cool yeah. beat, yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I play the drums. Yeah. And uh, uh, first, uh, when I joined the band, I was substitute for the last drummer. I and then he quit and so I joined and since then... You've got the job! He's the motor of the band, yeah. really, uh, he's uh, the, really the bass. Always in time, hopefully. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I try my best. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you know what a drama is, a drama is not a musician, as a guy who is hanging around with yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's Thank you for the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You never heard this joke! <laughs> I think on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well. Uh, is there anything uh, you want to say to your fans worldwide now? Uh, you have the chance to this camera directly to you. Yeah, I just want to say thanks very much for following us and liking our music and just being passionate about us. So, thanks. Hope to see you at any shows of us and yeah, rock on. <laughs> yeah, check out all our tour dates on our website, keltigarocks.com. Hopefully we'll see you somewhere very soon. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, what can I say? That was another edition of Shotten TV. It was fantastic.
fantastic to have your company, guys, and it was really good, good fun. And hopefully, you enjoyed your visit as well. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and um, well, stay tuned, and hopefully, you will be here again <coughs> when we broadcast our next edition. Until then, enjoy yourself. You know, you should not be upset because life is too short to be upset. Keep your chin up and just rock it like the guys from Caltica do. See you very soon. Bye bye. Bye. bye.